it sounded just like that car that um Kevin Hart was in that crash, and we never heard nothing else about that. So I find it funny that right before he crashed a blue Ferrari, he was just advertising a red Ferrari uh, not too long ago. August 11th, he did an advertisement for a Ferrari. And then he crashes one in Hollywood. Now, remember that Skull and Bones ritual. Remember that Skull and Bones ritual. Because he got into the crash on Saturday. Now, August 11th, if we take the day from that article, we get the third month and the 22nd day is when he got into this car crash. And then look, the day that the day that this advertisement came out was on the 223rd day of the year. Not to mention that he crashed. I want you I want you to see how they make it a point to, to highlight the fact that it was a blue Ferrari. Now, blue Ferrari. Blue Ferrari equals 115, which is the same day of his last post on Instagram, November 5th, 11 slash five. When even even when we write. Even when we write Michael B. Jordan equals 115. Michael B. Jordan, blue Ferrari. And then we're going to get to that 114. We're going to get to that 114. Right? Because he crashed. He crashed in Hollywood when Hollywood equals 114. Not to mention 113, the number for dishonesty. Bullshit. Just like Michael B. Jordan. So we know Michael B. Jordan. So we know he has the same first last name. As Michael Jordan. Yep. Michael Jordan equals 113. 113 days. And then look, they say he crashed around 1130. There it is. So I don't know if this was some type of uh, promotion for this Ferrari because he was literally just promoting a Ferrari on his second to last post before this happened. So I don't know if this was just some type of promotion for the car or, or, or some type of ritual, because remember earlier this year, Michael B. Jordan had just got a, a star on the walk of fame. And if you notice, these things are very color coded. Yep. Look, so, look, look, look at Mr. Blue 42. Blue 42, so he got the blue on, the red background, then he crashes a blue Ferrari, then he's wearing the red on this picture, then on, over here, he's promoting a red Ferrari. So this whole thing is blue and red color coding. It's all set up. Like Freemasonry, the blue lodge and the red lodge. The Republicans and the Democrats. Yep. So this whole thing just looks like a, a ritual. And they say that they don't even know if Michael B. Jordan actually was driving the car. But then they said he was at the scene and the police were asking him questions. So how do y'all not know that he was driving if he was there and the police was asking him what happened? And then he said he they said he said no comment. Mm -hmm. When the fuck you tell the police? How, when have you ever been able to tell the police no comment? Never in my life. And they just going about their way. They don't breath. That's the first thing they do when you get into an accident. They breathalyze you. First thing they do. To see if alcohol or any type of drugs had a, had an influence on that. See if you was under the influence. That's the first thing they do. Yep. So yeah, it, it's, it's it's definitely something deeper going on. It's it's definitely something deeper going on to this situation. Uh, yeah, he's he's getting his just dues this year because Creed three came out this year. It's like it's like for every positive, it's like a negative that has to happen to like balance itself out. 
to like balance it out because he just came out with Creed three. Two days before Creed three came out, he was honored with a with a star on the Walk of Fame. Now he gets into a car crash, which isn't even confirmed if he was actually driving. So it's just it's weird. It's just weird. It's weird the stuff that happens in Hollywood. Damn. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't, I don't, I mean, it don't get no better than that. Oh, hold on. Let me let me just for people that don't know about all the number 113s. Real quick, um, one thirteen. So, like I said, uh, he got Michael Jordan since that's his first and last name. Michael Jordan, which equals one thirteen, uh, he got into this car crash a hundred and thirteen days after promoting a Ferrari. Then he crashes a Ferrari. Hmm. So, hundred and thirteen days later, right when the number one thirteen is linked to uh, dishonesty. So, it's a lot of other words here that also equal 113 when you run the English language forwards and backwards, like not factual, not true, disinfo, not honest, dishonest, politics, election day, which the most recent election day was on November 3rd. When Joe Biden was elected, it was on November 3rd. Bullshit, puppets, mainstream, all these things equal 113. So it's very interesting knowing that and knowing that 113 and then then sitting here hearing them say that they can't even confirm if he was driving the vehicle. So do we just have a, 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 a skull and bones ritual? Because if you watch the movie, The Skulls, they show that they like to pull pranks. That's what skull and bones likes to do. They like to do pranks and and. The initiation process is you synchronizing your death. They yeah. have you sit in a coffin. They have you sit in a coffin and you have to tell all the dirty, every last secret that, that you could think of. Every Everything that you've done to go through a rebirth. It's like a rebirth ritual. So was this his rebirth ritual? Might have been. One thirteen, uh, Paul Walker, which had a similar situation, right, with that car crash. Car, yeah. Now, uh, Paul Walker was in the movie The Skulls that talked about skull and bones. Now, in this movie, he received a red Porsche Guerrero GT as a gift in the mm -hmm. movie. Now, isn't it funny that that's the same car that he ended up crashing in his demise? Yo, that same car that he received in that movie. Uh, I want you to see the day that Paul Walker passed away. Paul Walker passed away November 30th, Whoa. 11 slash three. So did he really pass away? Or was this just a skull and bones prank, a skull and bones hoax? Just like you said, to kill off their Hollywood persona. Yeah, the character. Their character, killing off their character. Even breaking down Paul Walker's date of birth. September 12th, 1973. We get 113. So he has this same parallel to Michael Jordan. With his car crash. So yeah, I think it I think it was fake. I believe I, I think it was fake. And it happened around 11:30. Yeah, I, I think it was bullshit. Jordan also reportedly did not offer an explanation for the incident and filled out an online police report. So they let this nigga go home. <laughs> 
they let this nigga leave the scene, go home, and fill out an online police report. <laughs> that don't make do? no sense. That don't make no sense at all. Come on, man. They sitting here. They sitting here just concocting up stories to keep these people relevant. It's always some type of story that has to come out about these people. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, it's storm show. Uh, it's storm show.